Okay, second graders, you have your background. Yours is painted. Mine's not painted. I didn't paint one. I just have a regular background. But our paper needs to go up and down vertical like this, nice and tall. Say up and down vertical. Up and down vertical. If you have not already cut your iceberg out, you need to cut your iceberg out, and that's going to get glued to the very bottom. You know what? For these big pieces of paper for this penguin project, Instead of doing dot, dot, not a lot, sometimes I like to just do a line of glue around the edges and that does the trick too, but not too close to the edge because if you get your, too, your glue too close to the edge, then it's gonna ooze out the side everywhere and it's gonna be really, 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 really gluey. So that goes down to the bottom. And then next step is we're gonna build our penguin from the bottom up. We're gonna do the feet in your table caddy. There is a piece of orange paper like this. It looks like a rectangle. Your first step is to fold it in half like this, like hamburger style. If you fold it like this, that makes a hot dog bun. We don't want a hot dog bun. We want a hamburger bun because we're gonna make two little feet out of this. Give it a nice crease like this. And then you're gonna take a pencil. I actually think I'm gonna do this in Sharpie so you can see what I'm doing because a lot of times you can't see what I'm doing if I do it in a pencil. You're gonna find the open end there's the open end, there's the fold end in, and you're gonna point it up like this because we're gonna draw our feet. You need a really big foot. So don't do a tiny little foot like this. That's a tiny foot. I'm gonna flip it over and try it again because I need a big foot. So I'm gonna start with a slight diagonal line. It's okay if it's vertical on one side, and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. In between the two, this is where you get the feet. I need two triangle humps watch this one actually hold on no sorry just kidding three one two three no i think i meant two it's okay two or three either way see i just gave myself one two three four little things but i meant to do three that's okay this is the easiest trick in the book second grader second graders if i keep my paper folded and i cut on the line I should get two very great same size little feet. If I accidentally cut on this side and I open it up, let me show you what I mean. Like say I wasn't paying attention. So say I'm someone that's like, la 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 la, Mrs. Mucky's talking, but I'm not listening because I hardly ever listen. And say you did not find the open end let me do, there we go, there's three on that. So there's, there's two, there's three. And say you weren't listening and you were like, la la la, it's folded, I'm going to cut it out and I should get two of these same little cute penguin feet. And you go and you're like, oh, what? This is not two cute little penguin feet. I must have cut on the wrong side. Evelyn, what's an easy trick to get two? Well, I've already cut it out. Now I have one shape. Lolita, what's a very easy trick? Cut it in the yeah, just cut it on the fold and guess what? Now I have two. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, let's get back to the iceberg. So, feet are gonna be standing on the iceberg. I would not, I would not glue these all the way down here because this is the side of the iceberg. That might look a little silly if your penguin is somehow standing on the side of the iceberg. So I'm gonna make my penguin standing right on top, just like this. Oh no, that's okay. It's all good, it's still good. Okay, we're building them up from the feet up. Next step is you have a large black piece of paper like this. It needs to go vertical up and down. Which way does it need to go? vertical up and down you're gonna do this with Callie you're gonna do this with a pencil I'm doing it with a white crayon so you can see what I'm doing you'll be able to see with the pencil this is for the penguins body the big black part we need to do an upside down U. but second graders if you do a U like this well that is wasting all of this black paper and that makes your penguin this big. That's a tiny little penguin. So when you do your upside down U, you need to start from this corner and go all the way up to the top and then 
go to the side and down to the other corner. That makes a really nice, big, huge penguin. And then I'm ready to cut my penguin out. Hold on, second grade, we're almost done. Cutting them out. And then you guys are gonna pretend, cause I don't want you to sit here and watch me glue everything. Actually, you know what? Changed my mind, I do. You're gonna glue it, and again, this works really nicely when you go around the edges, just real quick. Beautiful, that's it. Glue it on top of the feet. If I leave space like this, well that just looks silly because it looks like my penguin's missing some ankles or something. So then my penguin can go right on top. Last step for today, if we get time for it, is I have a smaller piece of white paper. It needs to go up and down vertical. Which way does it need to go? If you make it go this way, it's not gonna make a very big white belly. So this is for the white belly for the penguin. You guys, same thing. If you do it upside down you that's that big, well, that's a very tiny belly. So I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna go from one corner up, 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 all the way to the top and to the other side and back down. And then, oh, hey, second grader, check yourself. Voices are off. Then when I cut it out, I should have a really big, nice belly. And same thing, you guys, for these big pieces, if I take my glue and I go right around the edge, I get a nice glue line. And then this can match up with the bottom right down here. And then I get a really nice belly. And we'll do the face here next time and we'll give them some fins next time. And that is all.